Hi, I'm Neil O'Grady, osteopath, and uh, today I'll demonstrate a hip traction technique. So, I'm going to lift Jimmy's leg and bring his hip into flexion, about 90 degrees of flexion, place my calf flat hand underneath his calf in the posterior aspect of the knee joint, and I will put my right hand over the dorsum of the foot, under my left hand, and grab the front of his thigh. Right? I bring my left hand then onto my arm or my bicep here. Jimmy is nice and close to my side of the couch here because I don't want to lean over and hurt my own back. I'm in a squat position. I'll have a nice tight grip and I'm in a position of power here. So I can use my legs, traction the hip as opposed to trying to do it all from my shoulders and arms. So Jimmy, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as he breathes out, traction the hip upwards. Breathe in again, and breathe out. I can add a little bit of circumduction here, which can be nice. This generally feels nice. It's very suited to people with elderly people or people with an osteoarthritic hip. You can have osteoarthritis in your hip at a young age. And when it might not feel nice is if someone has a, a ligament injury to the um, coxofemoral joint or coxofemoral ligaments, because when you get to uh, the end point, it may hurt or if there's capsular tightness, it might also hurt. So that, everybody, is a hip traction technique uh, that you can use on your patients.